All right, a stem plot gives a quick picture of the shape of a distribution while including the numerical values. You, now, this is important. You separate each observation into a stem and a leaf. Okay, so 14, for instance, becomes 1 on the one side and 4 on the other side. Okay, um, and 256 would become 25 and 6. Okay, we'll show you now. We write the stems in a vertical up and down column and draw a vertical line to the right of the column. Write each leaf to the right of its stem. Note, stem plots do not work well for large data sets. You can't use too many, and it's not available in the calculator. Okay, so given the following, draw a stem and leaf plot. So the first thing you do is you label it ages, occurrences. Put a line across and down. So can you see for 20, you'd go 2, 0. For 30, you would go 3, 2. 45, you would go 4, 5. Now, one thing you have to do is you may want to do this first. So you put all your numbers in. These numbers have to be in order. So you're going to put your five and your 0 in the beginning, then your 5, then your 6, then your 9. 2, 2, 3, 4. You've got to put them twice or 15 times. Sometimes they're in there. You've got to put them all in. It shows how many 2s there are. And then the one and the five and the four and the one and six, obviously all in, in order. Um, back to back stem and leaf plots. This is when there's three columns. So you've got your male and your female. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to put your, your two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, go up, whatever. And then your female will go on that side, nine. So obviously there were 29 females, 31 and 38 females. What was this percentage? And 46. Over here, there were 50 males. Okay. This one, there were 68 and 68. This one, there were 78 and 70. Do you see? Okay. So that's the back to back. So you always start with this number and then you piggyback one of those numbers. Start with that number, piggyback one of those, and it goes that way if you're going to go back to back. Um, the ages measured by the last birthday are employees. So here again, this will be a back-to-back -back one. It says construct a stem graph of all the ages and then construct a back-to-back -back comparing the offices. You've got office A and office B. Um, your ages of your personnel. So you've got two. And here you can see they've put it into order. So 0, 1, 2, 6, 8, 8, 3. So that would be 30, 31, another 31, a 32, a 33, a 35, a 36, a 37, a 38, and then two 39s. Do you see? So that's all the ages. And then a back-to-back. -back, Office B, they've got a 20 and a 28, a 32, 33, do you see? And then this one, they've got a 28, a 26, a 22, a 21, a 39, a 39, a 31, a 31, and a 0, but all in, in numerical order. Okay, and that's it, my chickens. Let's give it a go. Let's give it a go.